a suburban family dreaded today. I hope this day would never come, but unfortunately nothing more could be done to prevent his release. The family of Lori Ann Borowski with their attorney, Gloria Allred, say they worry now that Borowski's murderer is free. Allred calls for changes to Illinois law so that convicted sex offenders are ordered to not have contact with their victims and their victims' families. Isn't it enough that Lori Ann was kidnapped, raped, tortured, and suffered more than 20 ice pick wounds to her body and was murdered? Now her murderer is set free and the law does not even require that her murderer be ordered to stay away from her family. Early this morning, Thomas Cocorales walked out of a Canton, Illinois prison. He served 35 years for Borowski's murder. He was sentenced to 70 years but got time off for good behavior. It's awful because you don't know what he's going to do. You don't know where he's at. Today, Borowski's family held photos of the young woman. In 1982, Borowski was 21. She was kidnapped, raped, tortured, and killed. Investigators believe Cucarellis was part of a group known as the Ripper Crew that killed 17 women. 35 years is not long enough to prepare for a vicious serial killer to walk out of prison. Yes, he served a sentence under man's law, but is yet to face his maker. The Borowski family says they would be willing to testify in Springfield to sway legislators to change the existing law. As for the rest of the Ripper crew, three other men were convicted. Cocorales' brother was executed. Two other men are still serving time. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.